The NICU is a part of our story, and it's a part of my life. It holds a very special place in my heart. We knew that we always wanted a family, and we always had a dream of having, you know, two children, and we waited a couple of years. The pregnancy, it was perfect. It really was, until it wasn't. I woke up the morning that we hit 26 weeks, and I felt different, and we went to a hospital and got checked out. And it turned out that I was in labor, and I had no idea. I received steroids to help his lungs develop. So they placed an epidural, and my contractions stopped for three days. And then it was time. The operating room was, was very chaotic. They tried to prepare us to not hear anything. And <sighs> Max came out screaming. And it was, it was breathtaking. It was the most beautiful sound I had ever heard. And it gave me so much hope because I knew he was strong and I knew he was gonna fight and we were gonna fight with him. Max went through a lot in the NICU, and at five days, um, his intestines perforated, and we almost lost him. And that was the beginning. And he went through several surgeries. He was under anesthesia several times, had emergency eye surgery to save his eyesight. He, he really, he went through a lot. I had been a social worker for many years, and I always wanted to work with people. But after Max was born, I had a different focus, I had a different passion, and it was working with families like mine. It was the holidays, and we would always send updates to the NICU. And we were sending some holiday cards and some updated photos, and I googled the address for the hospital, and the link that popped up was the job offer for our family support coordinator. It felt like I needed to be there. I was doing the right thing. As scary as it was to go back, I knew I needed to. A NICU family support coordinator's job is to take care of the families, where the nurses and the doctors and the hospital team takes care of the babies to get them stable to go home. It's our job to support the families so they can be the best parents that they can and the best advocates for their child that they could possibly be. You know, there are days that I walk past the room that Max was in and it takes my breath away because I remember what we went through and how far we've come since then and it drives me. We didn't think that we were ever gonna have another baby. We wanted to focus all of our attention on Max and whatever he needed to help him grow. So he's doing incredibly well and we decided we we're gonna take a chance and we found out we were pregnant with Maya. At 29 weeks, my water broke. And it was happening again. I was able to hold her the first day she was born. And that was incredible because I had to wait almost two weeks to hold Max. The first time he saw her um, was the morning after she came home. He sat down on the floor, he went, so today's the day. Today's the day. Today's the day. He had been waiting for so long to see her. He loves her so much. I have the best job in the world because I get to watch people become parents. And I, I get to watch these babies put up the most amazing fight. And it's so incredibly inspiring to work there. For us, the March of Dimes means hope, and it's knowledge, and it's education, and it's support. And it's really the backbone 
of what we do and why we do what we do. We've been given so much by the March of Dimes. And I am grateful that I'm able to give back to families that have been helped just like mine.